Look who's back at it. Causing all that static. It's the old fanatic. No music, no pomp, no circumstance. Just got finished watching um, Dayton Flyers against the Nevada Wolfpack. Again, didn't bet the game individually, but I am um, had no. I can't. I'm pretty sure I had Nevada on my bracket on my couple brackets that I'm filled out. You know. Twisted my arm, made me fill it out. You know, that's like a drug addict. Oh, they made me, they made me, held me down and shot me up. They held me down and made me snort the coke. I'm a fool, you know. You know, gambler by nature. But Nevada's up by 17 points. With like four and a half minutes to go. Ended up losing the game. And again... I personally couldn't do it because I wasn't good at basketball. But if I was good, I wouldn't not keep trying to score, playing hard defense just because you're up. Where's the effort? You got when you got somebody down, you got to go for it. Go for it. Keep your foot on the pedal on the pedal to the metal. Keep the foot on the throat. I just, it's just, a, it's annoying. It's annoying that people just aren't, I mean, you're playing basketball. Granted, you're not a professional and it's not, but you should be trying to win. They keep score for a reason. Um, you know, so I'm, um, you know, that bracket's aggravated. I don't know how I'm doing. I made a couple of uh, two team, three team parlays, whatever. I didn't really check how I'm doing. But, uh, hold, hold on a second. Wahlburgers again. I think Saturday is going to be a Wahlburger day. We're going down tomorrow, wedding. You know, it's your funeral. I mean, um, this joking, folks. Wedding. Galloway, New Jersey by Atlantic City, staying overnight and then hitting the, hopefully, somebody said, oh, you're going to AC? I said, yeah, I'm going to a wedding and an AC Saturday. Oh, say hi to my money for me. Tell me where it is and I'll, I'll pick it up. <laughs> you know, always looking for, hopefully tomorrow's my, Saturday's my day. Won a parlay the other day again, you know, um, since the game's, you know, the game hasn't started. Everybody's going in the NCAA with McNeese with, with State over Gonzaga. Go with Gonzaga if you've seen this in time. Winnipeg Jets over the Devils. Um, I don't know. Let me try to think of another one that I like that I, you know, I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, but, you know, that, that kind of stuff aggravates me. You know, just as a sports fan in general and as played sports and like I, you all know, I, you know, hated losing, couldn't take it. The effort just wasn't there, man. I was, I, I, even though, like I said, I didn't bet on the game individually. I had it in the bracket and it had the lead. So I got, I got into it. You know, that's why you can't do that shit. You can't do that. You can't let pe things like that bother you, folks. It's too, it's not good for you. I mean, I know everybody, you know, most people love gambling. There's people that really, you know, there's people that really shouldn't gamble. But um, other than that, I mean, what's this, what's going on? How's everybody doing Thursday? Weekend's right around the corner. Um, again, if you're here, thank you, um, hit the like button, comment below, tell a friend, um, spread the word, let the fanatic, you know, bring some, uh, therapy, some joy or some sorrow into your life. I mean, I'll wear all the hats, folks. 
You want me to be the villain? I'll be the villain. You want me to be the hero? I'm the hero. I'm your Huckleberry. Remember that one from uh, the, um, Tombstone? I'm your Huckleberry. Don't worry. Oh man! Again, we we having we having we having some laughs about you know how these kids act and this one kid, very quiet, but we you know he comes over talks to the staff. You know he's you know he's awkward. What do you you know seriously? What are you gonna do? I mean the grades are. Oh, I, I, I want. I might want to. I like drawing. Okay. Well, the art teacher wouldn't commit to. Is this kid got any talent or not? I don't know why, but he didn't want to commit. And then the kid said, "Oh, if I can't do that, I'm gonna be a YouTuber." Well, the kid's shy and awkward. But then again, I said to the, my partner. He might just put his picture on there and get a lot of hits. Look at this. Look at this kid. He looks like a bird. Look at this guy. Look at this dork. That might be the way to go. TikTok or YouTube. I mean, there's people on YouTube that are, you know, they're doing great. I mean, this fanatic, I'm struggling here. I mean, like I said, it's therapy. I'm not going away. But... I'll let the, let your people in and let your people know. You know, I'm open. I'm an open book. Some people have been asking. Um, you know, just wondering, you know, how the channel's going. It's going all right. Could be better. They're all they're also asking, what's going on? What have you been up to? Well, I'll let you in on something. I came across a great guitarist, youngster, and me and this youngster, for some reason, have this connection and the same likes. See that? So, young kids influenced by Eddie Van Halen, saw the old fanatics like, hey, you know, maybe we could do a song or two, talent show. Nah. We're going to do a set, hopefully. So if anybody out there is a drummer, bass player, or keyboards, comment on the Fanatic, or if you know how to get in touch with me, get in touch with me. We're going to do something. We're going to do something in, after, you know, after the summer, get time to get it together. September, October. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to show you people. I'm going to show you people, you know, unless I go into rehearsal and can't do it, I'm going to, sh if I still got it, we're going to find out because I ain't going to go there just for, just to go for jokes. That's not my style. So if the show goes, you're going to see something. You're going to see something. You go and see these other bands or you're in the casino and you're going to see something. Trust me. So... You know, that's on the horizon now. Maybe that's fate telling me, you know, do you know, don't give up on doing a couple shows, making a couple bucks. Um, no, I don't, you know, I don't, oh, we're going to get discovered. We're doing Van Halen and David Lee Roth solo. You know, Skyscraper. Skyscraper is going to take, take flight again, possibly. So keep your eyes and ears open for that. Like I said, if anybody's interested... Comment down below or get in touch with me if you know how to get in touch with me. Yo, fanatic. Remember Rocky? Hey, you got you got a number? You you, you gonna write down your number? No, I'll just call you. Hey, yo, Rocky, one of my favorite movies. Watch the original Rocky up in the up in the loft while the rest of the guys were partying when it was in a band, a couple of bands. You know, it's my, not, you know, I'm not saying I never went down and hang out with him, but after I want to be alone.
you know, that's I'm different. I'm not I'm different from from you from most of you. So um that's on her that's might be on the horizon. So keep coming back, checking back and see if how things are going. I'm going to give you, I couldn't think of a band. I mean, I got a lot of things going on. Um, but I, I think I'm going to hit you guys with, um, uh, I now I can see I slipped my mind again. I think I'm going to hit you guys with the Scorpions next Thursday. Holy Thursday. I'm going to give you the Scorpions. Give you a couple movies on Tuesday. I saw another one. Um, you know, and I'm going to give you the, U, the UFL rundown preview. Um, if you're new here, you don't know or you don't know. I'm a Birmingham Stallions fan. Two-time Uf, USFL champions. So we'll see if they can get a three. Even though it's a different league, three-peat. It's going to be tough. But... The Stallions got my vote. They got my my support. So, give you the rundown. Tell you, you know, to check it out if you're a football fan. I know there's people, I don't want to watch it. If you like football, give it a shot. Watch it. Well, more about that next week. I, I'm, you know, like I said, no problem in circumstance. I'm going to give you, I'm going to uh, give you a quick, Summary of a couple of video games because people were asking me again. They don't put it in the comments. I need it in the comments to get the algorithms. Um, you talk to me on phone or text me or face to face. Remember, anybody, you know, even if you're not older, you know, in my age group or four, you know, in the 40s, remember a, a venture from Atari? Just think about that. Flashback. You're a box. You're a box. That's the graphics. And you're going around the kingdom. Three levels. First level is easy. You do that one, two, three. Just to show you how the game is. The second one, everything's in the same spot, but it's a little harder. All of the, the bridge, the magnet, the sword, the keys. Three castles again. Gold castles where you come out. You you put out in front of the door, and the door lock, you know, the gate closes. Oh, excuse me again. Hold on. And the gate closes, and you got to go look for the chalice and put it in. You win the game. That game was so addictive. I used to love. I used to sneak up and stay up and watch play that shit. That game, bro. I and I got the Atari flashbacks with all the Atari games on PlayStation Two. That's how far back behind I am. I don't really. I mean, I like video games. I don't have time for them. I mean, once in a while, but Adventure Man brings back memories. I mean, simple, simple game. And I mean, I don't. People are buying Atari. People. These kids are watching games where it looks real. The, the football looks real, like you're watching a game. So I don't know, but they're they're going backwards and going getting interested. And remember Pong with the two things? That's what we had, folks. But adventure, adventure, I loved it. I, you know, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. You know, you like how they got the box. It's a good game. It was a good, good game. We had a lot of fun with that one. Like I said, I was up late. What are you doing in there? No, no, nothing. Yeah. And another one that came across, I came across this on, I think on accident. And it was an event, it was in the adventure, you know, in that, in that genre. Haunted house. You two eyeballs, just eyes going around the screen Flicking the red button, the light goes on, you're lighting a match, the candle, whatever. And you're looking for the chalice, the three pieces. And you got a sept, you can find a scepter. Um, some gate, some levels, different levels, it's like eight or nine levels in the game. You know, level one easier, level game number two, whatever. I can't, you know, 
can't exactly remember the full, but yeah, there's games. There's four levels of the house, four floors, and there's eight or nine different games. Some you got to find the key to open the doors, call through. But again, it's dark. You lit flip that match. The walls aren't lit except on level one to show you how to play. You don't have to for beginner babies. Um, Haunted House is a good, good one, too. We had a lot of fun with that one. So if you're ever, like, on Atari Flashback or you're going to get the new Atari with, you know, all those games, you you know, you see it on YouTube, Amazon, Haunted House, right up at, right up that Venture, Adventure and Haunted House right up the alley for, you know, like, I guess role-playing games, I mean... When I got my PlayStation, I got, yeah, I got the, of course, got one of the hockeys and the Madden. But, you know, I played a couple with the friends, you know. Played against my ex-wife, but Scooby-Doo, one of the first Scooby-Doo of a uh, hundred frights or a thousand frights. That was so good. We stayed up late. Me and I, my daughters and me. Tried to win, you know, finish to complete the game. That was a good time. Those, that was a good game. It's like, you know, that's, but that's, you know, more modern. But Adventure Haunted House, check them out. Um, you know, it's, yeah, it's cold. I mean, I know spring is supposed to be here, but it's cold, man. I don't know. I don't like this cold. I mean, whew. It was windy. It was whipping through. I went up, walked up to the um, corner store to get a couple things, a couple necessaries for the house, a couple of, you know, lottery tickets for the pick six. You know, you got to take a shot at money. That's life-changing money, folks. So I just wanted to pop in, it's, you know, Great to, it's great to be seen, and it's great to see you, or whatever the rigmarole is. Um, kids are still, the kids are still too much. Um, my boss, he's got, you know, I don't know, man. Like I said, I've seen him come and go. And for the most part, the guy's all right, but... He got to learn. He got to learn to chill. He got to learn to relax a little bit. He got to worry about r real problems and not worry about little minor bullshit. Let me do my job because I seen people in your position come and I seen them go. Hopefully, I'm gone before you're gone because I'm you know I want out. But I know what I'm doing. I know what to do. I'll come to you if I need something or if something's not getting done in a timely manner or the supplies. You worry about the kids and the education. I'll worry about the rest of the stuff. Like I said, seen them come, seen them go. Don't worry about me. You know, you lose sleep over me, you really got problems. But... All right, you know, we're going to wrap it up. Um, no quote, you know, or better see you to see me. I forgot to give you the old opinions are like, except for mine, opinions are like. Fanatic. Going down the shore, looking for that hit, looking for that big jackpot. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy the madness. See you Tuesday. Peace out, fanatic. <laughs>